Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining and welcome back. We're gonna work on some corporate clash stuff today. And when I'm recording here, it's Gag Farming Friday. Who doesn't love that? So, wait a minute. Okay, this is awesome. So this is a new change since the last time I recorded. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. And here we are gag-wise. So essentially, yeah, this is just my Uber here, and we're just gonna get right back into things, I guess. Just head on down the streets, take care of some cogs, all that fun stuff that we all love and enjoy so much. Alright, so I believe we need level 2, so let's go take a look. Trying to size up the competition here. Then again, though, I know I just thought of that. Like, I should probably should have just gone with a level three instead. And while wow, that that throw kind of just took care of that. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so wait. So, you know, are there any level 3s around? That would actually be most ideal. Here's something. Oh dear, let's go help them out. Something tells me that's going to be it on this street. What invasion do we have going on here? Let's just test it out. I don't think it's going to work. Oh yeah, that's right, it's not gonna... The invasion won't show here, but... We can still take advantage of some level 3s on the street. And you do actually seem to get uh, that extra added credit, which seems to work in our favor. But yeah, definitely, if anyone has any uh, suggestions or anything about how to uh, go about this Uber training here, More than happy to listen to comments and suggestions and all that because realistically I think what I'm doing is I'm going through you know task line stuff which is the sole purpose of uh, trading gags and such and I'm thinking that might be the best way to kind of go about it I also love you hear the little noise with squirts, that way you know it misses, you know. That's always uh, very awesome.
I have not found a single bug suit part yet, so that's very interesting. I also have to try and figure out uh, what type of gags I'll have for my Uber here. Because it's one of those things where traditionally when it's... Uh, so what I'm going for is like the 30... Well, it, w it would traditionally be like a 34 lap. Oh, there we go. Five folks suit parts. The 34 lap that would... Uh, reach a max of uh, 39 and you see i'd have one trading point it's up at basically though no, like with that you know type of uber setup you have like four gag tracks i'll just any random four for example four gag tracks that you have access to I don't know what exactly it's going to be like here or how it's going to be set up. So definitely if anyone has any tips or suggestions, first time trying this at Clash. Really like it, and I, should, I will say. Very awesome. I do like it. I just got to try to figure out how I want to exactly set it up. At least I remembered where the schoolhouse is. It's, so yeah, it's all port access. We know all about this. All right, uh, Professor Pete, I'm watching you, you know. For all future instances, is you know, Rabbit to Nero. But anyway. So let's see, actually. Oh, wow, we have a lot to do. Let's head to Punchline Place first and see what we can find. That would be... Ed... Ed North or something, I don't know. Yeah, certainly. I need to try to figure out the most efficient way of going about this. I do think uh, doing this on Fridays. There we go. I think doing this on Fridays might be most beneficial because that's where Gag Farming Friday kicks in. Most beneficial during that time. And uh, certainly try to do the task line, I'm certain it would make it a lot less monotonous, maybe. That's what I'm guessing, but I mean, if you certainly have any suggestions, let me know. I'm, after all, I could rotate this. After all, I'm all ears, you know, I'm ready to listen. I love how I got all those uh, jelly beads, all, you know, four of them, two from before, two from now. But 
No day like Sunday, so let's get to it. First, let's just take on, I don't know, level... You get some gag trading. After all, I think that's the main thing I'm really going after is... With this tune specifically, because uh, he is just going to be an uber and such. Just at least getting the gag tracks. You know, maxing those. This is actually, that, yeah, that's a cool screen to look at. I like the way they redid that. So it is funny, I will just say, there, yeah. There was an update, and there's about to be actually another, oops, this side, another big update, I think, planned soon, uh, based off what I've heard and what I've seen from the official corporate clash teams uh you know their youtube videos and such <laughs> and i mean it's it's look i like i'm really excited for it like it looks so exciting okay i keep getting two everywhere i go but i'm just gonna have to visit every single shopkeeper to get two each time it's like trick-or-treating in a way it just Yeah, totally. I'll totally do that. I was about to say, if there were connoisseurs, this would probably be the best place for them. Excuse me, I must ask you a question. Good missing job. But those things like you never saw it coming as soon as they started walking up towards you, just like Oh gee, I wonder what that could be. Definitely not an attack or anything like that, you know. Did I get that from the goddess? Okay, yes I did, so I need one more. other uh, corporate flash ubers have for gag setups and such obviously i have throw and square now those two should be pretty solid i don't know how important zap would be to an uber because of the squirt zap combos that might be important something to consider at least sound is always a good one i know learner's always good a swindler, but I assure you they're not going to be taking anything from us this time. Unless if all our gags miss, in which case we just go sad and start all over again, but you know.
while we're here, we might as well try to find that last uh, bug suit part. Otherwise, that'll be bugging me for a while here. There's also something just very exciting about Ubers. I mean, you see it here, we've only battled a few cogs and we're already below half lap. And certainly, yeah, we're in, you know, we're just in the first playground. You know, so I, I get that, but it's also the fact that, uh, you know, beyond this, it's gonna be relatively I mean, what, it'll just be somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 more, you know, just going to be really close. Yeah, over here. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be really close, you know, to this the whole way out, which is going to be very exciting. Don't tell me, oh no, this is exciting. Monkeys do not have bug eyes. They just have robotic glasses is all. They were the first people to have smart glasses. That used to be a big thing, like a, several years ago. Like, oh, smart glasses. No, it's these flunkies that have them. And the Fluckies have had them for a while now. I'm passing by several of them, but that's okay. Sign, get out of my way. Another two. All right, yes. I am saving. I am saving Toontown. Uh, one one cog fight at a time. So who's next? It's gonna run right on back there. A lot of running this episode, not as much fighting. Sharp as ever, I see. Very nice. Also, I'm interested too if, well, I guess, how much of a challenge, because obviously this is, you know, I have gotten the impression that Ubers are, I'll just say I know for a fact, Ubers are a lot more challenging, and that's part of the fun too. That's why I like the more challenging than, uh, you know, a traditional higher laugh tune and such. Certainly, yeah, if there's any type of, uh, additional, I should say, are added difficulties or challenges in Clash, I'd definitely be willing to listen because please let me know. And, you know, I'd be happy to know all that because I love those additional challenges. And it's also something good to kind of look out for in a way. See, it's interesting. So I'm curious about, you know, everyone's uh, preferences and such when it comes to, you know, 
how they want to know information, you know? Especially, like, if something... Like, so, like, because I've never gone through this type of thing before, you know, Uber and Clash, some would say, like, oh, it's kind of like a spoiler in a way. Because uh, it's like, you know, I've never gone through it, so just enjoy the journey. And that's fine, you know? Some people are like that. Others are like, uh... I need to know everything, so I need to know how to prepare. I'm kind of at the middle, where it's just kind of like, you know, I'm here for the journey with this, trying it out. But if anyone has tips and advice, I'm happy to hear those too. So it's just one of those things, you know, I like both points of view, and both are very good. I personally like to take a middle ground approach, like mainly because, you know, I'm just here to have fun and get a flunk. Oh my gosh, look at that. My ears were popping out of the flunky. If you pause the video and look back at that, my ears are the flunky. I have become one with the flunky. That is awesome. That is going to be my wallpaper. But anyway, so yeah, get back on topic. Yeah, I'm just here for the journey. I'm here to have fun. Well, I'm here. Might as well pick up this one. That's the other nice thing, too. Just letting you know if there's a... Uh side task available. Whoops. No. There we go. Are we sure this is up to code? Oh, who am I kidding? This is Toontown. Nothing's up to code. And we're quite alright with that. I kid, of course, but it's, uh, it is funny to think about how uh, wacky and insane the fun is. Just like, hey, here's a dynamite idea. Literally. <laughs> oh, awesome. We're getting two more jelly beans. We're really... Ooh, we're really breaking even now. Hello, fellow rabbit. I'm sorry, I am just going through this. I mean, I'm trying to read a little, but I have gone through a lot of this for my main series from Clash for my bat. So if you haven't already, please definitely go check that out. Yeah, so now I gotta go help my rabbit friend talk about a real hair-raising situation. I know I need flunkies, but at the same time... You know, like, hey, my main objective here is to... Just get these gags trained up as much as possible, and I'm hoping that's the right approach and trying to handle this.
if it isn't, I'm sorry. And please, you know, let me know for future efforts. That way I know how to kind of handle this and, uh, and such. For gag training relative to tasks. It is fun to go back through this again, I will say. I must say, I still like that line from the bottom, Peter. I'm a sucker for tunes. Makes you kind of wonder if uh, there's going to be like three bottom feeders that come together. Just start singing or something. find out if that was enough. Awesome. Alright, can you top off my uh, spaghetti with ketchup? Ketchup and hot dogs maybe? I don't know. And as long as we're going back to the playground, let's restock on some gags. Get those going. And then potentially once... Uh, Oops, there we go. Once these get up enough, like maybe to level five, you know, might be more advantageous to kind of go into buildings and gain experience that way. That would probably be most ideal. Because you really like the more planted, and, you know, gaining more XP as you go up, floors and such. It's just really nice the way how it's set up. I sure hope I went down the right street. Is it this one right here? Yes. Two more. I was like, wait a minute, why am I going back to a word loud and clear that I realized, oh wait, this is part of the main task line. It's like, oh, okay. Whoops. It's probably good, though, in this regard. So here's what I'll say. It's kind of, maybe like this is kind of reverse because, so I'll just pause a moment. Uh, if you remember from my main series, I used to try and get these out as much as possible at the beginning. Now, I have no idea, but I'm probably still towards the beginning here, obviously. Maybe. Maybe, like, middle. Something. Oh, look at that. 24 jelly beads. I am rich. Shall you choose to accept? Yes, I, I I accept. 
I don't really have much of a choice in the matter, so yes, I shall accept. So slip and slide. That's interesting. I really could go over some uh, you know, slip and slide materials. Where is that at? Toon Mobile Wireless. I'm not going in there. They are not going to set me up with some phone plan, uh, sticker book plan, I mean, that uh, I end up having to pay a monthly charge that is way too ridiculous. And why do you look like Frankentoon? That is what I want to know. Oh, not the bright side. Hey, look, we just reached level eight. Got a, another point and such. This sounds rather appealing. All right, we just got to take out a few cogs while Wacky Way is all. So this should not be too bad. Would ye? <laughs> ye. Ye, I do. We are not at the, uh, what is that, the third playground? We are not there yet. Why are we saying ye? Oh, darn, a flunky just blew away a little bit ago there. I was hoping we could get that, but that's okay. We'll look around for another. There's another. You Don't you dare run away from me this time. All right, so yeah, we're at level eight now, so I've gained another trading point, which means realistically we could open up another gag track now. I don't intend to at this very moment. So, you know, I want to wait and see, kind of hear things out, see if there's any advice about what to do if I had uh an inclination or any type of feeling about what to do next, it would probably be sound. The sound's always good, and I know, especially for Ubers and such, sound is probably, when it works, it's a lifesaver. What flavor, I don't know, but it is the lifesaver. Uh, yeah, if I had to guess, it would probably be sound. The only other guess would be whether or not, you know, like, after sound, if Lure is good or if Zap is good or, you know. So I'm assuming it's all kind of in that general area. And obviously, if I'm, you know, if I have an Uber and such, it's probably better to have, like, regardless of whatever gag checks I have, to make sure all of them are prestiged, you know. Have a little star showing up here and such. Have them all to be prestiged to be more helpful. And again, that's what, just what I'm guessing. But definitely, I'm happy to listen to any other advice because, again, I'm all ears. But let's head back in here. And uh, Tudenstein is already here. So 
we actually have a couple things to kind of go back to. Lord Loud Clear and the Kaboomery. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it did that. Oh. That's interesting. I let my finger go and it still stayed up on the screen. I don't know if you could see it on your end, but when I just did that, I let go of the button and the tasks were still showing. Anyway, that's probably nothing. All right, first let's head here, and then we'll head on up to Loopy Lane and uh, see what we need to explode next, or uh, get the TNT gags ready for something. It'll probably be some type of, oh, watch your gloves, and then another false alarm or something, I don't know, something like that. Let's head up here first, and I'm guessing this is the only thing I have to do. I'm hoping that at least this is the only thing I have to do on the this street. Wait a minute. What do you mean I have to go here? I do not remember that being part of the original agreement. Then again, I do have a task slot open. I ran right past it, but it could work. Fire is awesome. No, I was not going that way at all, but that's okay. Anyway, though. And also to let me know if... If even accepting these uh, side tasks for an Uber kind of build is even uh, worth it. Because again, it's, you know, doing tasks and such, for me at least, is a fun way of, you know, trading the gags without it seeming so monotonous of like, okay, just like, you're just battling cogs over and over again, you know? And especially at this kind of lower level. Like, if it's level 5, we can start going into buildings and such. That's one thing. But at this point, you know, it just seems kind of monotonous to just do some street battles and such. But definitely, if it's not worth doing some side tasks. Because, you know, as an Uber, you're not getting the benefit of the laugh increase at certain points. So, definitely, too, if there's any advice from that. Okay, that really threw me off. Why are you invisible? I think I get it, but that just really threw me off at first. I had no idea. It's like, wow, okay, so Silly Street. You have up to 300 friends on your friends list. That is terrific. I will say, I love that. Alright, let's say we can at least try to get to level 4 by the end of this episode. Because we are within 200 of each, 
for both Pro and Squirt. It would be really nice to make some progress this episode, because I know we probably did a little too much running, so if we could at least get to the next gag track and unlock that, that would probably be awesome. And I have no idea why I'm fighting executives, because they deal a little more damage traditionally, I believe. Uh, they still work like that. Maybe not. Oh, they, they have... No, I think they do. They have more laugh and, uh... It's like a level 3, what is this? That's 30. Okay, yeah, I was right, yeah. I did all that, but hey, at least I got those 15 jelly beads. Let's see, what did I need to get? Essentially, Flunkies and Lawbots. Uh, you know, let's not worry about it. For now, let's just try and worry about, uh... Mainly because I don't see any. Let's just mainly try and get... Up to level four here. And of course, if you ever need a laugh up. That's one way of doing it. If you're out and about, of course. Did I need anything? Oh yes, I did. I'm like, why is there a red dot? And then it's like, oh, I had to come here. That's why. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Okay, awesome. Oh. Okay, so we got a lot of good use out of that invasion. Oh, this is funny. A funny text where it's just like... Just the continually uh, apologizing. A pie on the head. I really like this, though. 
And another rabbit, so obviously we're going to help out our rabbit comrade here. No invasion, so we cannot get anything additional out of anything right now, so... Pencil pushers. Let's just head back to the playground for now, just kind of see where we're at. Okay, so let's try and take care of uh, Loki's and Pencil Pushers. Well, maybe not there. I'm trying to remember where the best place to find them would be. Wacky Way might be ideal. Silly Street might be it, too. So let's... Wait, I was just there. Try a wacky way first before going back to Silly Street. Now let's just see what we can find. We'll show them who's boss. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so 30. I think this might do just enough. Oh, did you see that when the flunky went to, you know, explode from laughter? You could kind of see kind of behind the, uh, behind the eye, or the glasses and such, and you saw that. Oh no, there goes another pencil pusher. Don't go away, I'm not that doll. Don't leave me. Okay, so one flew away, but we have one in front of us here. And you know, as the expression goes, a pencil pusher in the gag is worth two in the, the, the building or something. Something like that. Yeah, I believe I still need you. But you see, take a, you can kind of see it even from here, kind of like behind the glasses. I mean, talk about detail. I've never noticed that before anywhere else. You gotta... Like, look, oh my gosh. That is, I've never noticed that before. Honestly, anywhere else. That, like, I'm sorry, I know that's, that may not be a revelation to many, but I can't believe. Wait for him to pull around. Like, look at that, that's just... That may have not surprised many, but to me that was just... Never noticed that before. That, that is exciting. So you see, we have actually accomplished a lot today. We've accomplished that I don't know anything about anything. Okay, so is that 
Awesome. So now let's see if we can find pencil pushers that we can push around. likely have to go back. It's some more laugh at gags, of course. Let's just see, though, because we need one more pencil pusher. You no, know, it always seems to work that way where the, you need one more or something and it's you're just not finding it. Okay, yeah, it's just not it here. It's just an it, Chief. So, let's head on back. And just see what Silly Street has to offer. Because we just need one more of these, essentially. Especially with Squirt, I will say we are close. Leveling that up to the next uh, level. Which will be very exciting. Here we go. I choose you. Okay, so now we just have to hope this one hits. Call it a calculated risk of sorts. Okay, so now we have a whole lot of things. So, Silly Street Playground. Okay, so... Since we're already on Silly Street... It would be silly of us to not take care of this one first. But this one, yeah. The International House of Bad Pies or something. And so, yeah, we're going to have to go back to Lord Loud to clear. Let's go to Loopy Lane decks. get this one all taken care of straight away in good order. How you doing? You're on fire now. Yes, they are. No, they are awesome. You said it right the first time. So, five metal plates. Okay, so let's go back to the playground. The pun was totally intended. 
I had to give you credit for that. Maybe I, what was I supposed to do with that again? Oh, the big Ted car. Yeah, that's fine. So, yep, off we go. And yeah, Luffy Lade should be good for uh, law bots, so we can get, wait, gags. Oh, I tell you, you see this thing up here? It it came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, sorry, I have no idea. This perspective looks so weird. You know what? I should probably just try to do this blindfolded. Or, well, not necessarily. Oh, my gosh. Not necessarily blindfolded, but just start running forward like this. Wrong way. Wrong way. I don't even know where I'm going. Is it this one? We're having fun now. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, I just came to you. So maybe it wasn't you. Oh, what's the building is just this one straight ahead that's really funny I tried to have fun and then I missed the building okay so yeah yeah we're just gonna perfect now let's see what law bots we can fight on the street Really, 40% chance. Highest out of any cog type on the street, and there are none. Oh, isn't that something? Thank you. 
Let's just see real quick. Ah, uh, so let's go here. That's one of the nice things about the fact that it does not affect Newtown Central here, is that I can just go head on here and I don't have to worry about the head honchos or the arm honchos. Okay, there's a 5% chance of cash bots, and we've just seen two of them, three of them. Here we go, here's a lava. One of those things, I need law bots, but the temptation to just take on anything with level 3 is very strong right now. Crispy critter tastes like chicken. This guy here has the cooler looking glasses going on, you know, they're not the, uh, the flip, the, yeah, the flunky glasses, but they're their own type of thing. I got the cool style going on here. Along with the powder wig or something. Well, okay, then excuse me for trying. We will take that. We will gladly take that. There we go again. There's that great line. We also have Cashbot uh, buildings throughout. That's why. Uh, 
That's why we see so many cash bots on the street. I was like, wait a minute, this is crazy. Okay, so I need 22. And this does 18. I am... Uh, yeah, I am out of usable gags. It's for all intents and purposes. The entire plan hinged on doing like a bottom-up approach and all that kind of working together. But alas... So, wait. Sure, we can head back there. Oh, wait, what was my daily task? Defeat seven executives. Uh, something tells me we're not going to reach that. I'm probably not going to do any more trading off camera for now, at least. And I'm sorry, this episode is running a little long. I would really like to try and get. Grow at least up to level four before kind of calling it a day. So you know what? Yeah. How about we just go after any? What you know level fours will even work? That's fine. This will just be a micro problem. Yeah, we could totally just kind of. Throw up to level four, then call it a day. Sorry, this is running kind of log. I'm gonna start working for the uh, that apologist shop that we were just at a little bit ago for the pies. As long as this hits, that should do it. All right, Petty, for your thoughts. That's awesome. We've done it. We got a slice of birthday cake. I'm really excited about. So we're just going to jump off here. Thank you all so much for joining us. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. Hope to see you next time where we do more Uber stuff and hopefully trade this up. We got a long way to go to get to 2000, but... We will get there. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.